Hello my friends, welcome back to the next Metal Gear Solid stream. Uh, it's been a while, it's been a couple of weeks since I've streamed actually. I was trying to make this like a weekly thing but the last couple of weeks it didn't quite work out. Um, but um, first of all I'm just going to go ahead and start up and see where we left off with our VR missions. Um, I think I think we're around 13% complete overall. And tonight I'm going to see if how much of Raiden's um, missions I can get complete. I'm on 68% uh, complete. I'm just going to see if I can fly through them and possibly complete Raiden's missions tonight. That's my goal. I don't know if I'll... Um, I, I, some of the alternative missions are a little bit harder and take a little bit more time than the VR ones. So although it seems like there's a small percentage and... Um, you know, mathematically, you could say that I'm a third or two thirds of the way through, so you know I should be able to do this. But um, some of those percentages um, are a lot harder to do. Like this level here, these bomb disposal ones are going to take me possibly a while to find the bombs, and uh, I may fail a few times um, because this is kind of a blind playthrough, but not really because I know the game so well. But at the same time, I haven't played some of these missions for a very maybe couple of years so um, it's not unreasonable to think that I may have forgotten where some of this stuff is and uh, I may feel a few times and stuff like that so some of these could take a little bit longer than say a, a VR mission where it's just like shoot the targets kind of thing because they're generally quite easy to complete. There's a guy down below me right now I think that knocks them out, yeah, you can drop on their heads and that'll knock them out. Yeah, where's this last one at? But we have a few things I want to talk about. First of all, I want to talk about why I haven't been, um... Oh, no way I missed. Oh no, guy down below somewhere. I don't think there's any good way of falling from up here to get to the other side either. Oh, he's down below me, I think. Um, yeah, but there's a few things uh, I want to talk about. I don't know, what does this guy see me? Shit. Oh, the thing was, was... Oh, no, no, no. The bomb was on my side the whole time as well. Damn it. Yeah, they're all on the lookout for me right now. I wonder if I can defuse it from here or freeze it. Yeah, I can. Alright, that was a little bit sloppy, but <laughs> we got it complete. Um, yeah, so with a few things I want to uh, talk about at the start of this, actually. The first is I want to say a huge thank you to my Patreons um, for supporting me for um, as long as they have because I haven't been quite as active on my channel for the last couple of weeks and. Um, uh, it's really been nice to see that people, although I haven't been uploading as much, are still supporting. And I don't think I say enough, um, I don't think I say thank you enough, because um, usually what I do is at the end of a video I'll say it, or something like that. But I wanted to say at the start of the video just so that, because um, I know that a lot of people don't watch the whole videos, and uh, that kind of stuff gets, um, you don't get to see that sometimes, so. Oh, that was an easy one to find. Um... Uh, but yeah, it's, you know, it means a lot to me that people, like, people will say to me, like, oh yeah, I like that video, or a great video, and stuff like that, but I don't think, you know, until someone's actually um, pledging money, like, that's, like, a real compliment to me, like, I always feel like whenever people say, oh, great video, I think they're just, like, almost saying that as, like, a, oh no, this guy's gonna, these guys don't like being held up at all. Like, I, I never know if people are saying, like, great video, they're just saying that because it's, like, they're your friends and they don't want to, like, make you feel bad. Um, so, yeah, but I don't think there's a bigger compliment than someone actually um, pledging money to you. I just think that's, uh, it really means a lot that, the, that people are uh, continuing to do that. Especially in the last couple of weeks or even months because I just haven't had time to, to really make any... Of the videos that I have been in the past and I, I do want to talk about that a little bit in this stream I don't know if I doubt I, I didn't post oh, hold on. There's a 
I'm nearby. I didn't post um, uh, this on Twitter. Usually, uh, if I'm going to do a live stream, I post on Twitter and stuff like that. I haven't done that today. So I don't know if anyone's even going to join in, but it's going to give me some time to talk about uh, my plans for the channel and uh, some other things without being interrupted. So I don't really mind that no one's joining this stream. Let's see if I can find this C4. I heard it bleeping. Some of these things can be really tricky to find. Okay, clearly I can't jump over that. Or that. Oh shit. Okay, sorry, I'm sort of in concentration mode here. I'm trying to find this C4. There it is. Right, so. Uh, one of the things I, sh I really should address, actually, is that I hardly talk about um, Metal Gear Solid 2 whenever I'm doing this stream. So, um, I hope that people haven't... Um, <laughs> and I'm sure they have. Like People probably see, like, oh... I'm streaming Metal Gear, like I'm about to be just talking about Metal Gear. Wow, I hate these guys so much. Ah, oh, no way. They do not like getting held up. Oh, well, that's knocked them out. Maybe I did shoot them once. Let's see, do they have any reinforcements? Come on. Music is so creepy in this level. Okay, no, there's not. I thought I heard the beeping of C4 there. Gosh, shaft grenade to use. But yeah, I haven't been talking about Metal Gear Solid a lot. In fact, in my last video, I talked about um, Resident Evil 2 more than I talked about um, Metal Gear Solid. So I hope people haven't been like uh, coming here and just wanting just like all Metal Gear Solid stuff. Like to me, this is like a great opportunity to talk about um, uh, just like updates and stuff because I don't really have that platform um, anymore too much where I can just like tell people like uh, give updates and stuff. So this is a great place to update you on what's happening with my channel. And uh, so, what is happening with my channel? Um, what's happened in my personal life I should probably talk about first actually because um, my I, I changed jobs around a year ago and it was a really good move for me and it still is a good move and I'm really enjoying my new job but it's it's a lot more intense like the workload is a lot more like I'm having to do a lot it's it's kind of harder work as well um, and it means a lot of times I have to take work home and stuff like that. So, and it's kind of late, it's like long hours as well. It's like, um, I'll have to work, um, like maybe 10 hours, like 10 hour day is pretty average. That's just what my workload is. Oh no. Oh, what a shot. Oh yeah, I can't shoot these guys actually. They've got bombs strapped to their bags. Yeah, so like a 10 hour day is like the average basically and then um, if there's a big project on I'll have to actually I'll try... I don't know what. Freeze. Nice. Yeah, these these levels take so much longer. There's like there's five bombs in this one and there's probably like five levels to search so you can see how Although there's a smaller percentage here, like this is going to take me a lot longer to do. I'm, I was hoping to get Raiden cleared up Freeze. this stream, and then that way, um, next stream I can just start uh, on Snake. Although I may just start on Snake anyway. Um, I've totally lost my train of thought. Freeze. Yeah, so my job is is more demanding and stuff like that, but um. So, and what this means is like, some days I'll come home and then like, I'll have to work like a couple hours at home. And normally before I would have done that, those couple of hours would have been spent. Cause like, 
doing things like um, the graphics for some of my uh, video thumbnails and stuff like that, and then like the graphics for this overlay on Twitch you see, um, sometimes things like that can take up to one hour to, for me to do. And before I would have that hour, I would have like an hour to just um, come home and, and, uh, and work on graphics and stuff. But now I don't really have that time. Well, not like not all the time. Like this is what this is what I'm saying. Like in the last couple of months, things have like escalated a lot for me, and um, just the way work is. Like I'm just kind of having to do a lot more. But um, I'm hoping that uh, in in say two to three months' time, that's going to change and things are going to back off a little bit. But um, for the time being, things are going to be a little bit. Uh, I'm just gonna have a little bit less time and that's gonna uh, eat in the time that I would have usually spent making videos and stuff like that. Um, and if you know me, uh, you also know I have a, a son. I've got a two-year-old son um, and that, uh, if anyone out there is a parent, they'll know that uh, there's nothing that'll take up your time than uh, caring for a child. So um, you'll know that that's just taking up a lot of my time as well. Um, so, but what do I plan on actually doing about it? Um, a few ideas I have, or a few things that I'm going to do, is um, I'm going to basically have a backlog of videos. I already have a backlog of videos, but I'll have like a, I'll have like a, a I'll plan out like the next say five videos, and then I'll have them all basically ready to go. And what I'll do is I'll book some time off work. Like maybe like even one like if I got one full day like you don't like people probably think like um, especially people that don't have kids and like maybe they they work full time they maybe think well, well just why don't you just do this at the weekend like you know you've got all weekend but if you have kids like basically you spend your whole weekend with your uh, like I've only got one child but you'll spend your whole weekend looking after your child and uh, by the time, usually by the time Saturday night comes and like I've had a full week of work and it's like um, I'll have to work at home and stuff like that as well, I'll just be too tired to even like bring myself to do anything. But I think that like if I had like a full day of just um, uh, like a full day to myself um, to, to work on videos, I think I could maybe make like two or three. Um, if not more, especially if I have it all planned out, like I'll get it all um, recorded and stuff like that. Um, so that's one idea. That's something that I'm uh, I'm gonna do in the meantime. Like this is just for whenever um, when things are bad and work, I'm like I'm having to do a lot of uh, like work at home and stuff like that. So yeah, I have plans. That I think I, I think it's gonna work out pretty good, um, but it's just gonna take time. Let's see, no. Don't bring back up units, it's just gonna make things harder. Oh, damn it, this guy saved me as well. The ones I is this Hmm, it's hard to tell sometimes where the bombs are. I think this one's out here. Oh shit. And then whenever you get, whenever you raise the alarm, um, your radar dies. God, this is just gonna make things so much longer. Okay. Oh no, this is just making things so much worse. I think I'd actually be quicker if I died right now and come back uh, with, with four of my bombs defused. Oh, there's a poster. End poster. See, these guys are gonna. either gonna see my um, footprints from the rain or they're gonna. they're probably gonna hear me sneeze because I. oh no. I'm actually just gonna die because it makes things quicker if, if you just die. I think you spawn back with um, 
before the bombs defuse, but it just takes up some of your time. So basically, the difficulty here is just finding the bombs. And in Raiden's case, they're not, they're pretty much in plain sight. And uh, Raiden has a really good sensor to detect the bombs. But later on when you're playing a snake, uh, all you have is... Oh, the, the bomb's actually in here, so I was looking in the wrong place anyway. Sometimes this little part down here is harder to find. You can you can miss this little area. But yeah, you can see right in sensor, like, it's telling me that the bomb's here. And, uh, let's see, it's like, it's pretty obvious that it's in this area. Uh, later on with Snake, all you have is the beep to go on, so it's a little bit harder. And then I think, possibly with Pliskin, um, I could be wrong, but I think you may not have any real guidance, like you may not have any sensors. Well, I'm saying this is easy to find, I'm still having a little bit of trouble finding this one. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Did I? How did I not see that? I right, opened that thing. Yeah, there it is, right there. So, what are my actual plans? Uh, you know that I'm streaming right now. So, this is this is like test streams right now. So, um, I I've been planning these test streams have actually been really good for me because you can see that I've already missed a couple of streams, and that's just told me that. Um, Consistency is not easy. Like I thought, well, I'm just doing these little Metal Gear Solid videos. There's no plan on going into this, and this is part of why, um, like what I was saying earlier, like, um, I don't talk about Metal Gear Solid that much. I'm talking about other things, and that's because like there's just no plan on going into this at all. Like I'm just hitting, um, stream, and I'm just playing it as it comes. Like I'm just, I, I like the VR mission, so I'm just doing a little bit of VR. Um, if I was going to talk about Metal Gear Solid, what I would tend to do is like, um, uh, have a topic, like say I'll be talking about the bosses and then I'll, I'll just start playing the bosses, like there's a boss rush mode or something like that. Um, but, because that's kind of the way I do, I, I like to like make notes and stuff like that and that's traditionally why I'm more of a, uh, you, like a YouTube. Um, creator rather than a streamer um, so that's probably why I'm not really talking about Metal Gear Solid that much and I'm just like just seeing what happens this is like more just me getting the hang of streaming more than anything did I diffuse that yeah and it's been invaluable for that because um, I'm just like really getting my head around how to do it and stuff um, and so my plan is that I'm actually going to start making videos about um, a game called Battlefield 2 Modern Combat and I've probably, and you've maybe heard that already before in some of my other videos I've probably talked about it before Okay, I can see it in the mirror, but where is it? It must be right here Oh no! Oh, I come in here Changing the guard's pattern makes such a big difference in this game, like... It just, um... Keeps you on your toes, basically, like... That's a, a part of what I love about VR, like... So much changes... Just by, um, changing the guard pattern, for example. Or, or like, a tiny objective, like... Each room feels so much different, or, like, the tactics... In doing each room... Is, changes so much. And that's part of why VR works in this, like, you can just make a minor tweak and it feels so much different each time. Let's see if I can find this. Oh, there it is, right there. Hiding in plain sight. Oh, that was far away. So, I'm gonna be, um... Yeah, I'm going to be streaming uh, uh, Battlefield 2 Modern Combat soon. I think I actually maybe mentioned this in a previous video. But at the minute, I'm like, I'm compiling lots and lots of topics. Like, this is what I was saying about, like, Metal Gear. Like, I'd, I'd like topics to talk about because, um, 
It's fine. Where's this guy? It's down below. There's go. I'm, I've. Oh no, he's seen me. I don't think this last one's in here anyway. There's. I'm gonna be streaming some clan matches and stuff like that, and I don't need like a lot of preparation for that. Where's this last bomb? Oh, it is in here. See, that's what makes this, um, that's what makes riding so, oh no, don't wake him up. That's what makes riding so much easier too, just to having that, um, pistol, uh, the silent pistol. I don't think Snake or Pliskin, maybe it's Pliskin, doesn't have that and Metal Gear Solid is made so much easier if you have silent pistol ammo. So it is, um, taking that away makes the game insanely difficult like I'm, I'm just easily just like silently taking everyone down although eventually the guards will um, uh, the guards are going to be alerted here because they haven't done a stats here there's a stats report where is this I need oh I bet it's in here I need to defuse this bomb before oh no No, they're coming to find me. Damn it. There it is. It was nothing. All clear. I think they may have seen me. No. Okay, nice. Yeah, but I'll have like ta I'll have um topics like special videos where I just talk about um a specific thing in the game. And uh, they'll be planned, but they they will be um, live streamed. And at the minute, I'm just kind of compiling that list because the thing is, once I start that, I want to just keep going with it. And um, okay, that's all the bomb disposal ones done. Eliminate more. Of these should be relatively easy because I can just take everyone out. And the thing is, like, I probably, I don't know if I've already said this, I maybe repeat myself, but um, I want, once I start my Battlefield series, I want to continue it. And, like, and, and I want it to be consistent, like, and that's, you know, again, part of. And, and uh, yeah, I want to have, a, like, a, a good database. Oh, no, it's downstairs. Of like, I want to have a good backlog of videos that I can just um, uh, start working my way through. And if I don't have like a certain amount of um, background work done, good work, right? like um, graphics, for example, like thumbnails, like I've already started like preparing, say, 10 thumbnails. Um, because that's the sort of thing that can really hold you up like if I let's say like I want to be consistently like for 10 weeks say for example I want to stream every um, Every Friday no every Sunday for 10 weeks and uh, I get to the fifth week and I'm starting to create thumbnails and I Need to take and that like I'm not joking. It takes me like because it takes about an hour and what the hell, put your gun because it takes an hour, and because I only have an hour uh, some nights to do things, um, it could hold me back and, and I could just have to spend time doing that, whereas, um, and that means I could miss a stream potentially, or, because I don't want to upload stuff if like graphics aren't ready and stuff like that. Um, so I'm doing like a lot of background work for that, just to get it all ready. And, uh, But it's taken me a little bit of time just to get that uh, preparation done. Good thing about this mode is um, they, whenever it says like enemy uh, spot it, send back up. They don't send back up because there's only a set amount of people you can actually kill. 
Uh, so if they send back up, then you could potentially kill them, and then it would make the thing so much easier. So I think they say something like uh, backup's not available or something. There's something wrong with my controller. I think it's probably the battery pack. Damn it. Silent AK, that's such a cool weapon. It's so deadly in this game. All you need is a headshot. And that thing just like rapid fire, just aim towards the head and you're going to get instant kills. In fact, if you had that gun on all these levels, it would the game would be so much quicker. And, and again, like you can imagine, here we go, it's already getting harder because now all, all I have is a, a claymore. And I could be wrong, but I think... Oh no. I, I think that in the later levels, the, the enemies don't die from one Claymore. Um, I'm having a flashback uh, playing this as... Uh, I think it's Pliskin. And I just remember them. The, the Claymore would sort of down them, but it wouldn't kill them. So I think playing as Raiden, it may, it may actually uh, give, the enemies may actually take or have less health. So that's making things easier too. I'm not sure if it's again this one or, or one of the harder difficulties, but I remember one of these levels is insanely difficult because you don't have nearly enough bullets and there's there's hardly even enough bullets in the actual um, level but it was really a good challenge and I remember whenever I went through this on the 360 having like fun actually I think I more or less spent a good part of a night doing it um, so that's the kind of level of difficulty we get into later on we spend like whole sessions just trying for one thing and that's gonna be interesting if we get that far in the stream, like to see, um, to watch me fail over and over again. It's kind of gonna be embarrassing, actually. Um, so anyway, I've talk probably talked about enough about Battlefield, but you get the idea. Once um, the Battlefield, I think I'll do it in like seasons where it's like, um, maybe like 10, 10 weeks of Battlefield streams, and then I'll just give it a rest and then come back with uh, with another season and uh, in between times I'll work on different videos just because it'll give me a break from work on uh, uh, it'll give me like a break to give me time to actually start to build up more uh, videos um, but it'll also make it seem less like a, my YouTube channel just turns into a battlefield channel and I don't want that, I want it to be like... Okay, so raising the alarm, I guess, is... Whoa, what? Did they actually did call in some cards? So the um, other plans, uh, I didn't get to finish my Commodore videos, so I didn't. Um, there were I, I kind of spent as much time as I want. Like I didn't want to spend more time on. I, I like maybe spent like three months making my Commodore 64 videos, and that's kind of what 
I mean with seasons in Battlefield, like I don't want to spend more than like three months, say for example, working on on I keep killing my controller. I don't want to spend th more than three months working on Battlefield videos because um, there will be some people who will not want to watch that. Um, oh, damn it. Bomb uh, uniforms on, bomb disposal uniforms. So I kind of felt like I had allocated enough time to the Commodore stuff and I was like, um, you know, I'd almost spent too much time on it, so I was just like, oh. Okay, Stinger missile should sort this guy. And, but there was videos I didn't get to do, like I basically, I'd done all the intro stuff, like I wanted to kind of do a back story and like a console overview and some little, um, uh, hardware things and stuff like that, but I didn't actually get into the the heart of the games, which is like what I should have been talking about, if you know what I mean. But I couldn't have done one without the other. I didn't want to just talk about the. Um, I didn't want to launch straight into the games without um, kind of introducing the console. Um, so I had uh, I have like lots of games I want to actually talk about for it, and maybe even like a, all these guys are images. <laughs> the way they move is pretty cool, like. Oh no, I have no bullets for it. Let's see why they give you the sniper because it's basically useless. Um, against these guys because they're so quick. What's this down here? It's kind of four maybe. Yep. Oh, and like almost unlimited bullets. Um, so I'd like to go back to the commoner ones and this is probably one of the ones that like I'll take a day off work and then just like record a mass amount of them and just edit them and upload them because um, there's like a top 10 I'd like to do for the Commodore and there's just like keep, like my, some of my favourite games on the Commodore that I want to make videos about um, so I'll do that like but what I think is I can just knock that out in, um, in a day basically I could because I've got um, all the prep, not all the preparation, but I got most of the preparation done. Like the hard work's there, and uh, I just need to. I just need time to actually sit and, and uh, record the footage for the videos, and then like I can just edit the odd night here and there. Oh yeah, this is the worst. Like there's no, um, there's no. There's no radar and there's invisible guys. And I've got one bullet in that gun. Three bullets in that gun. Oh that was that almost looked like a ricochet off the back of that thing again. So hopefully the Commodore videos I can knock out. Um, I'm going to make a top 10 zombie video as well uh, th this year. I can see why they give me thermal goggles now to see that invisible guy. Um, I've, I've been waiting for State of Decay to come out. That's why I've been holding off on that. 
Uh, I've been holding off on a top 10 zombie video. Stuff like that happens. Just gonna see if I can take a couple of the guys from across the way. I guess it's a bit easier to take out some of the far away ones. Oh, I didn't pick up thermal bombs. Oh, I went to grab him, but he ducked. It's almost not as big a penalty whenever um, uh, whenever you have no radar, you have nothing to lose whenever you set the alarm off. In fact, if you played that right, you could just um, uh, raise the alarm and then just let all the enemies come to you. Like pick a good spot, like pick a like this, like I did there, and I pick like a. Uh, Tunnel corridor and then just let them all. Good work, right? Make their way. Alternative missions clear. Does that does that mean they're all? Okay, yeah. I wonder if I just eliminate all. I think there's like another um, one that was sort of hidden to me before. Oh, photograph mode. There's five of these to do. I've got some VR to do. I'll do some first person mode. Um, it's not my favorite mode, but I'll just do it just to get it out of the way with. Feels really unnatural playing this in first person. But not the actual aiming parts, but the moving parts feel weird. It's just not as responsive as I would like, but the analog kind of way it moves is just a bit, a bit strange, but. Saying that once you've played it for a while. Like I haven't played this for two weeks really. And it's not one of those games that you immediately pick up after. Like there's things you'll remember and stuff, but it's uh it takes a while to get back into. It's like, whenever you look and turn at the same time, it's like, too fast. You can just like, spin around in circles. But then I suppose you, once it was in third person, you could as well. But the tendency is to, when you're looking to the left, is to move to the left as well, and it's just like, over sensitive. I think that's um, the thing with this game. I don't know if you can change must be able to change the sensitivity. 
think I remember changing it for some of the sniper levels. But not maybe not actually. But the sniper can be really um like sensitive. I just noticed that I went from shooting targets to now shooting people. I did not did that, I thought that was only Oh nice, I got that AK. So, I just need, it's not very clear on what the objective is here, but apparently it's just to get to the end of the level. Could have done that a lot better. I think I might just retry that one just for fun. No, I'll just, I'll really come back to it, but. That was actually a fun level because, I think, sometimes like, I like to improve on my times and stuff. Sure. Uh, you know, I want to sidestep so badly, I think that's part of my problem as well, like the movement is one analogue, like you can just move, but in, in a normal first person shooter what you do is kind of strafe to the side but it just doesn't work, there's no strafe, it's just one move, one look, and I don't, it's really hard to describe but yeah, I, th I think the best way to describe this is that pushing left and right doesn't move left and right. It's just push forward and back and look, it's like, it's almost tank controls. It's very strange. But people are probably watching this thing and like, do you not know how to play a game? And it's... Maybe the answer to that is yes, but um, it, it's not natural. Should I be? Oh, this is an eliminate all. All of a sudden, it's the last one didn't tell me to kill. It wasn't. I, mean, I just didn't read the thing at the start, I guess. But um, Freeze. apparently, it's eliminate all. So got my M9. Don't really need stun grenades. But the controls are really disorientating. Freeze. It's just the movement. If I could strafe. What's that? Yeah, it'd be so much easier. You get used to it, it's just um it's just the way Metal Gear is. Okay, I have eliminated it all. Until you've used these controls, you know you don't know how awkward it is. Like I'm pressing the left. And like usually in games when you press left or right, you strafe left and right. Um, but it doesn't do it. It's basically just move forward and back and look. It's phase like tank controls in first person, which is a very odd combination. Alright. levels. I forgot about them and this is only like Is there somebody there? Oh no he's got the AK. 
One of the targets is this. Alright. They're all that. Those things are just ammo wasters, like, because usually the targets you just have to hit them once, but those ones you have to keep hitting them. They're basically just designed to waste your ammo. Exodus. Damn it. Ah, I think it was just right in that corner. That sucks. This is why it takes a lot longer to complete these little missions. Oh, it shows you the exit there, but it's. Makes it a little bit harder. Okay. Don't want to get any good rating for that though, anyway. Those are the kind of levels you just want to scrape through and not play again ever. Oh, I got the top rating. <coughs> and the please reconnect controller achievement. Must be something wrong with battery pack. Oh, this doesn't look good. Defuse all bombs. to choke him out, but I have my gun equipped still. Um, guessing the bomb's upstairs.
or not. Oh, there it is. At least it gives you a decent amount of time, but it kind of gives me an indication that this is a big level. here and how the hell did I get it? I don't have time to worry about that puzzle. I'm guessing you have to drop down from above. Raiden can't roll up the stairs, I keep forgetting that. The next one's upstairs. Way upstairs. Oh, do I have to stand on that to get it? Oh, no. Never very good at getting on top of these um, ledges, and I think you have to do like a roll onto it. Never good at getting that though, I, I don't know what the knack to it is. I'm guessing it's just hit and roll as soon as you leave the, the air. Oh, nice, I got it. It's like harder to do in first person as well. Or to gauge whenever you're right at the edge of the ledge. Alright, I'm so glad that those are done. It's definitely my least favourite VR ones to do. Oh no, I didn't know this was on that. This variety mode, like I don't even think I can bear doing it tonight. It's like a I'll try and get some of these photograph mode ones done and then I'll have a go at the sniper one. But there's usually like a variety level at the end of each. Um, oh shit. I didn't see what it was. I need to take a photo here, but I didn't know. Let's see what it is. Okay, that's like a little statue from. Uh, I can't remember what the. Oh, there it is. Uh, Easter Island, yeah, it's a little like Easter Island statue. Um, yeah, there's always a variety level at the end of uh, each character, and I think you usually, um, it's a sniper one. I know there's a lot of sniper ones, um, but they're really painful. It's like save Meryl, basically, and then it changes like to save, I keep forgetting to watch the little end reel. I think it's like save the chicken dinner or like the curry or something. Um, I 
and uh, yeah, they, they're really difficult. And this, they time this picture perfect. Um, yeah, there's some of the last ones. I actually, I don't even know if I've um, completed the sniper on my main account. It's one of the ones I'm stuck on. I can only take one full, like, at least give me like burst shot or something. I first played the VR missions on the original Xbox and I'm pretty sure that I've uh, oh I'm pretty sure I, I 100% I'd like to actually go and get my original Xbox and fire it up and see um, if it tells me what percentage I've done but I think I 100%ed it and um, But um, I haven't done it on the 360 yet. Like I basically got this collection about you know when it came out, and then I didn't really. Uh, I played Peace Walker quite a bit, and then I didn't really play much more. Um, it took me a while to actually get into Metal Gear 2 again. Come on, that was like pretty much the same as. He was always like he was in the air on his knees. What more do you want? Seriously, what more do they want? Take a photograph as shown. That is essentially what I just took. Like, does it have to be frame perfect? Hands probably weren't there, but it's so hard to get the timing of that. It's like literally a split second. Hang on. I guess his hands weren't there for the rest of them. Does that mean you have to take it the, the minute? Yeah. Like the minute you're seen. But then it's mission failed once you're seen, so. Ah! 
I literally can't press take picture quick enough. <sighs> I need to fix my controller. Okay, so. I can I simultaneously. the wrong kind of question mark or exclamation mark should I say oh, so you just have to basically hammer it as quickly as you can to the point where you break your controller and it tells you to reconnect. What did that I didn't even read take a photo of the stairs, what did that say? Take a photo of the stars. Oh yeah. So, it's a murky night, there are no stars. And the way you do this is you knock a guard out to the point where um, there's the stars spinning around the top of the head. And you can't shoot them out because if you shoot them, um, it's like Zeds. And you can't be seen because mission failed so Time to do that. Damn it. So hard to knock these guys out. So it wouldn't be as bad if it didn't fail the mission every time. Um, like the, the minute you get seen because if it wasn't for the fact that the mission was failing you'd still have a little bit of time to it. <sighs> like in the main game uh, they would run away and they would get their uh, walkie talk out and all this but um, and that's what the, and you would have time to then punch the walkie talk out of their hand or whatever or hit them over doing that. I don't know, I'm not sure if there is a specific place or how you even find out. Uh, yeah, I don't know like if there's any tips on where this is or like any clues. Whoa, well this is this is him here because he's got no uh, he's not on the radar. 
Okay, let's see zero nine. I thought it was going to be. I thought it was like going to be an actual ghost because uh, maybe it was Metal Gear Solid uh, One VR missions where there was actual ghosts and um, Peace Walker as well. Oh shit! Here we go. Yeah. So here's there's an actual ghost. But Peace Walker, there were ghosts. I don't know what Hideo's obsession with ghosts are. <laughs> I guess I was just demonstrating that you can shoot the lights out. Nice work. Because some of these VR missions, like, they are good. Like, so, for example, like, so all I've got left to do. For riding is this variety mode one? Oh no wait. That's the that's the very last one actually. Um the sniping one I think. It's probably number seven, so let's see what the other ones are. Oh this is just like a avoid the mines thing. Some of these are pretty silly. I may just uh, leave the stream there and just um, uh, pick pick up like here, because the variety ones are kind of fun actually. I mean, even the music. I don't know how much of the music you can hear, but it's actually kind of fun. They, they change it up a little bit to make it seem a bit more um, less serious. Let's just say. Um, but, although it looks fun and some of the levels oh, are kind of fun, they get really frustrating. There's ones where it's like you have to hang on to things and then like, because whenever you hang on to a ledge you can drop down to the next ledge but you have to time it really well where you press, you know, the grab ledge button. I thought I would have moved. Alright, well, get up. I'm gonna leave it there actually, I'll leave the stream here and we'll pick up where we left off. Because my throat's getting a little bit sore. And um, hopefully we'll pick up where I left off next week. So let's see what overall percentage. Um, I don't know how I mentioned this in other streams, but you have to go manually out and manually save. There was no quick save when this game was originally um, launched or anything, so you have to manually overwrite. Like, if I was to just turn my X Xbox off now, I wouldn't have got that progress. But I'm actually 20% complete, which is not bad. And um, we'll pick up the variety missions um, where we left off next stream, hopefully. So thanks guys for um, checking out this video slash stream and uh, keep an eye out on my channel. Hopefully I'll have some more videos uh, soon. Thanks for watching guys.